Phoebe, Phoebe Berserk. Keelan Devlin. I'm Cardi Nash. This is Drew Joyner. Lauren. This is Gabrielle. My name's Billy. Kira. Chloe. I'm Grace. What's something that keeps you confident? If you're struggling with confidence, you know that you have things to offer to the world. Everyone is beautiful to someone's eye. Do something that's outside of your comfort zone every day. The people you surround yourself with, like friends. Living in New York City keeps me confident. The art and people I like, stuff I like. So what's something you could share with somebody that's not confident? What's up everyone? Today we're in Soho, NYC, asking strangers what's something that keeps them confident. Before this video starts, go check out my clothing brand in the link below. And without further ado, let's get started. Hey, who am I here with today? Vivi, Vivi Berserk. <laughs> what's something that keeps you confident? Um, I just like want to be the best version of myself, absolutely possible. And something that keeps me confident is just knowing that I'm the baddest bitch that there is. Yes, sir. <laughs> And what's something you could share with somebody that's not confident? What do you mean? Wait. Someone out there that wants to be confident but is not confident. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, when you go to sleep at night, you're only yourself at the end of the day. And, you know, you live and die. You're born alone. You die alone. Not, like, not in some depressive way. But, like, you know, it's just you. So you have to kind of, like, work on being the best version of yourself and not give a fuck about what anyone else thinks. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Hey, who am I here with today? Um, my name is Gabrielle. My name's Billy. Nice to meet you. What's something that keeps you confident? Um, I just try to remind myself that like life is short and like I'd rather be confident most of the time than like, you know, doubting on myself or like being so mean to myself all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like the people you surround yourself with, like friends, family, and also like I love like color and like fashion and stuff. That. We see the colors. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that makes me like really confident. So like pop me out. Wow, yeah. that's super amazing. And what's something you could share with somebody that's not confident? Hmm, about myself? No, or? one tip you can share with somebody that's not confident. Oh, um, honestly, just like, from, actually, one thing like my friend told me in high school, I used to be very like insecure. She was like, if you tell yourself every day that like you're beautiful and stuff, it starts to stick. Even though, like, if you don't feel like it, like, after a while, it starts to stick. Hey, who am I here with today? I'm Richard Gladys. Nice to meet you, Richard. What's something that keeps you confident? Whoa. Um, what keeps me confident? Oh, geez, that's a really good question. Um, keeps me confident is just waking up, breathing in the morning. That gives wow, me confidence, you know. That's something, that's an encouragement to wake up to. But uh, I guess everything... Uh, can give us confidence, you know. Uh, I guess our styles bring us confidence, you know. Uh, it's a good question, though. It's tough to really pinpoint, you know. A thousand percent. But yeah, the style that what gets you up in the morning, that's amazing. And exactly. what's something you could share with somebody out there that doesn't have any confidence? Well, if you're struggling with confidence, um, I have to say just believe in yourself a lot more. I just, you know, don't sell yourself short. You know, don't compare yourself to people. Your, you know, your lack of confidence may be something that's keeping you special uh, from the confident, real confident ones. You know what I mean? Um, there's uh, there's something to be said about people who are more shy or take things slower or whatsoever. So confidence, you know, can be a pro for someone, but it can also be a con for the be some people as well too. You know. Right. So I feel just accept what you are and just be comfortable with yourself, you know what I mean? And it's okay to be unconfident, confident, at however you feel. That's just your body. That's nature. You're not going to stop that, you know? Sure. Um, but also who you hang around with as well, too. You know, you, you, you got, exactly. We got a little we'll confident. Him, we'll this one's confident. confident. We'll you going to say confident. something? She's like, oh, oh, chewing on this little microphone. <laughs> hey, who am I here with today? Kira. Kira, what's something that keeps you confident? <sighs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Sometimes I'm, I'm really not confident. Like right now, I I struggle with that. So I should ask you maybe. Something but, that keeps me confident. Yeah. Waking up every day and knowing there's a new opportunity that's in front of me. Yeah. And I think New York provides that. I live now in New York, uh, Finland, but I used to live in New York. And this city just invigorates me. Right? So. It's just the cobblestone bricks. Yeah. I'm telling you. And, and sometimes new clothes can give you like oh one thousand percent or a certain colors. I usually don't wear this color, but now it's like oh, I need That's some of color. that blue, yeah. green, yeah. white. Yeah. And what's something you can share with somebody out there that's not confident? 
Uh, well, it's a phase and it will pass uh, and everybody has these phases. Sometimes you're more confident, sometimes less. Hey, who am I here with today? Um, I'm Grace. <laughs> What's something that keeps you confident? Um, I think putting on something that, that makes me feel comfortable and, and cool um, and just, you know, that's going amazing. at the day. And what's something you could share with somebody that's not confident? Um, you're not alone in that. I mean, I, I think everybody is a bit insecure about something, but you just have to embrace that and just, you know, I just, I like I said, I mean, I walked down the street with my head high and just be who I am. That's how we stopped you. You know, yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't change yourself for anybody. Just, just be yourself. And hey, who am I here with today? Carlos. Carlos, what's something that keeps you confident? Uh, living in New York City keeps me confident. That's so amazing. And what's something you could share with somebody out there that's not confident? That's uh, about myself that's not confident? Uh, someone out there that's not confident but wants to be confident. What's something you could share with them? Uh, you got to be yourself. Hey, who am I here with today? Chloe. Chloe, what's something that keeps you confident? I guess uh, art and people I like, stuff I like. Oh, that's amazing. And what's something you can share with somebody that's not confident? Uh, that's not uh, like do something that you don't like that I think will bring down your mood in general. Hey, who am I here with today? My name is Drew Joyner. Lauren. Nice to meet you guys. Um, what's something that keeps you confident? Um, I would say just it comes from within, right? Like you know that you are someone of importance. You know that you have things to offer to the world. It makes you confident. If you can provide that in one way or another, just own it and rock it. That's amazing. And what's something you could share with somebody that's not confident? Um, I think that it starts with understanding who you are. Uh, understanding what you, like I said, what you have to offer. If you can kind of come to grips with the value you can bring to the world, I feel like you can walk into any situation and, and be confident about what you provide. So. That's amazing. Thank I, you so I much. I would say also surround yourself with other people who are confident and uplift you. You are who you surround yourself with. Yep. Absolutely. Birds of a feather flock together. Hey, who am I here with today? Keelan Devlin from Australia. I'm American now. Yeah. Nice to meet you. What's something that keeps you confident? In Australia, I probably had some ego issues, and I think ego is rooted in insecurity. I think being very at home with insecurities gives people zero ego and then a hell of a lot more confidence because you stop caring about what other people think. I think New York is a very insecure place. A lot of people that like you know are ruled by their insecurities and so they'll do things for external validation. Once you're at home with your insecurities, there's no external validation anymore. Makes sense. And right. what's something you could share with somebody that's not confident? Um, oh, Christ. Um, do something to get outside of your comfort zone every day. I think that was right. the thing. Um, the first thing I ever learned, I, was, I, was, I moved to Melbourne from Tasmania years ago. And the first job I ever got, the guy said, you've got to come in every single day doing something outside of your comfort zone. You've got to tell us about it. And like my thing was I got on a tram and I was just like, I love my life. And I was just like really uncomfortable doing it. But then the guy I was working with ran outside on a freeway naked at like the middle of the night. That was his way of getting out of his comfort zone. I was like, what the hell? Okay. And I think just getting comfortable being uncomfortable is the easiest way. Do something that makes you uncomfortable every freaking day. 1,000%, brother. Thank you. Hey, who am I here with today? Uh, I'm Karina. Nice to meet you. Nice and to meet you. Uh, what's something that keeps you confident? Something that keeps me confident is reminding myself that everyone is unique. Everyone is their own world. We all have our insecurities. Uh, so there's no reason why we should be putting ourselves down and just reminding myself to be gentle and that everyone is beautiful to someone's eye. And what's something you could share with somebody that's not feeling confident? Something that I can share? Well, confidence is something that I struggle a lot with. I have to work on it myself every day, but it's just like waking up for me. It's just waking up and looking at myself in the mirror and being grateful for where I am, being alive and healthy. And just starting with like small things can help you with working on your confidence as well.